Hi, I'm Harry Mary. And I'm Tommy Kyle. Welcome to the Red and Gold Show. The musical is this weekend. All of the time and hard work has come together to prepare for a great performance. The show starts at 7 o'clock and it will cost $5 at the door. Due to security restrictions, today's handyman has a special weather report. Thanks, Robert. Today's lunch is taco salad, and tomorrow's lunch will be cheeseburger and conies. Today is the last day to take signatures for any student interested in the 2012 Costa Rica trip. There is a sign-up sheet outside room 3. Only students on the list will be considered for the trip and future meetings, so sign up today. There will be an informational meeting for those listed on Thursday in room 3 right after school. And now for today's Crusader Connection. Hi, I'm Billy Durham, here with Jeff Saturday. Obviously, he's not a crusader, but we'll make an exception. Uh, how's your day been so far? It's been good. It's been good. We uh, we started, my wife Karen and I just started out over at uh, Ron Colley and, and hung over there for a bit, and now we're, uh, yeah, <laughs> move, right? But we're, uh, we're hanging out here for the rest of the afternoon. All right, well, I promise you, you'll like to see anybody there, Ron Colley. I like it. Uh, what are your opinions on the lockout? You know, it's uh, it's probably one of the more frustrating things that I've had to deal with oh, in, in my career. It was uh, it's one of the things that, that I feel like really has been uh, or it's in, inevitable by the, th the situation, things that have happened. So, um, but the good thing is the reason that we decertified was to stop them from locking us out, so that while we're going through all this negotiations and, and all this nonsense we're going through, we can keep playing football. And the most important thing is our fans don't have to miss definitely. what we love doing. Yeah, definitely. I love to see you guys play. I like it. All right, what we're going to do, rapid fire. I okay. say a word, you say the first thing that pops in your head. All right? Oh, my goodness. All right, you ready? All right. all right. Tom Brady. Sissy. Seattle Seahawks. <laughs> uh, I like him. I like the stadium. All right, Matt Hasselbeck. I like Matt. Bald head, but I like Matt. <laughs> uh, Sassina. So see, this is my first experience, so I'll let you know after I'm done. All right, and Ron Colley. Uh, it was fun. I had a good time. I know you guys don't like him, but I had a good time. <laughs> All right, that's it for this one. Stay classy. Seniors, don't forget to remind your parents that your senior ads are due by March 25th. You can find the link on crusadernews.org. The Cecina Mulch Sale is going on right now. Please inform your parents that the deadline for orders is April 1st. Hardwood and Cypress mulch are $5 a bag, and the growing mix is $10 a bag. Your order will be delivered to your door Saturday, April 9th. See the Cecina website for more information. And now it's time for This Day in History. Today in 1970, Boston Bruin Bobby Orr becomes the first defenseman in NHL history to score up to 100 points in a season. By the end of the, that season, he was up to 120 points, a record for a defensive player, making him the best offensive slash defensive player of all time. <laughs> AP tests take place the first two weeks of May. Students in AP courses have received a blue registration form, which is due with the payment fees by Thursday. The cost of each exam is $87. Math and science exams are paid for by the state, provided that the student is enrolled in the corresponding class and is a junior or senior. Any student who receives free or reduced lunches also will receive free exams. Forms of money should be turned in before or after school any day to Mrs. Moody in room 205. The Kenneth R. Leffler Scholarship is presented each year by the Cecina Alumni Association to honor an outstanding Cecina student in their junior year. The recipient of this year's scholarship will receive a full tuition Catholic rate award for the 2011-2012 school year. Applications are available in the front office and must be turned in no later than April 30th. And now for today's sports report. Hey, I'm Jeff Saturday, and this is Sports Report. Thanks, big guy. I'm Dalton Kuntz. And I'm Matt All. We got some madness for you today, sports fans. Yep. Um, the NCAA basketball uh, tournament bracket was released Sunday. A lot of surprises. A lot, a lot of surprises. Yeah, definitely not what people were expecting. Probably one of the worst brackets we've seen in a while, in quite honesty. 
teams like Florida as a number two seed when they were going in as a number 16th in the nation and lost their conference championship. And then uh, teams like Xavier, who didn't win their conference championship, still be in a sixth seed. Just a lot of surprises. I really don't think Villanova should have been in it. What are your thoughts? Um, of course, Florida um, losing when they are number 16th in the nation. Um, a two seed is generally for um, teams ranked five to eighth in the nation, mm -hmm. and they lost at 16th. So I, mathematically, that doesn't really make sense to me, but then um, there's a lot of shockers throughout the bracket. Um, VCU making it over uh, Virginia Tech and Colorado. So um, a lot of just stuff that doesn't really add up. Yeah, I think that Colorado and Virginia Tech that both definitely earned their way in, especially over teams like Villanova, who just – played awful towards the end of the season. Yeah, their record's not that bad, but almost all those losses are to mediocre teams at the end of the season. And I just think, I don't think they need to be trying to put seven Big Ten teams and 11 Big East teams in a tournament. Just And the new expanded having an 11th and a 12th seed playing game. I think it's just a little too much, and too much. I don't think it's fair to some of these yeah, teams. They're just hard. trying to make too much money off of it. Um, upset special, what's one team that you really think can make a deep run in the tournament? Um, well, I, one of my favorites is Butler. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't. They got the A seed, which usually isn't that good. You usually want the seven seed, so you don't have to play a better team. But they just have a pretty easy run. Pittsburgh's a good team, but they're definitely beatable. Yeah, pretty I much would, the whole Big East is. I would second that. I think they can make a run to the Final Four. I truly do. Mm -hmm. And that wraps it up. Stay classy, sports fans. March Madness begins later this week, and that means it's time for the Red and Gold Bracket Challenge. Brackets can be picked up after school today or before school tomorrow at Mr. Tuley's room or from any of the sports report staff. Submit your completed bracket to either of them by the end of lunch on Thursday to be eligible for the challenge. Right to Life officers will meet on Thursday morning in Miss McClellan's room. Freshman class officers will meet on Wednesday morning in her room. So that's today's news, Crusaders. I am TJ Hairball. And I'm T-Dog. Keep, Keep it, it fresh! fresh. <laughs>